All right. <laughs> what are we doing? Hold on, let me check. Oh, fuck, wrong thing. We are... Oh, we gotta go back to the groundbreaker. God damn it. Parvati! No, Parvati. This is Parvati. BP Borst Pocket. Can be macrolated in two and a half seconds. Borst Pocket. Ew. When might we expect you out here again? Alright. Do I. Hold on. Do I have spacer gear? Iconoclast. Spacer helmet. Ugh. And spacer thing or thingy. Okay. Honestly, except for Parvati, this was the only thing I needed. Here. On the ground, Barica. Okay, I have not caffeinated this morning, so... Pepsi. Oh, that burns so good. I think he already drank the other full throttle. Yeah, he drank the other full throttle, fucker. Okay. Talk to Pavati. What's up, Chicky? Right. She's on her way. How do I look? You're not wearing the dress. You bet I am. You don't want to know how much engine gun came off me in the shower. Oh, my hands have finally stopped shaking. All right, all right. Deep breath. Here I go. Check in on the date? Is that what we do? We check in on our friends' dates? I don't know, I haven't been Status on a date report. in... 13 fucking years. For area maintenance. Anyhow, so I told him, Dad, I'm a big girl now, I ain't need your help, I can do it on my lonesome. What did he say to that? Have at it then. And he handed me his favorite wrench, the one he used for the canner. He was probably half as tall as I was. He didn't scold you for talking back to him? Nah, he was never like that. I always thought it was funny when I get indignant about something. Then he'd watch me do whatever it was, make sure I didn't get hurt, but he'd never interfere. I learned a lot that way. I wish I could have met him. Anyone who helped shape you must have been a special person. Aww. That's adorable. My father and I were often at loggerheads. He had notions of how the station should be run, and I had others. He was fond of saying, you think Groundbreaker pays for itself? Someone's gotta cover the bills, when I chafed against his deference to the board. Sounds like he was afraid of him. He was, and he was right to be. Didn't mean I had to like it. <laughs> okay, well, that that's that, and I guess I will go back down. Oh, kitty tickling my legs. Coro's there, so it's Jinx at my feet. Exit the unreliable? Why? Why am I leaving my ship? Cause I love you, Parvati! Fuck over her date real bad and take her with me.
I would be that person. There's his choice. Taste the freedom of not having any. Buck Spacer's choice. There, I left. Now I got this. This right, her getting on my fucking nerves. It better have gone good, or I'm gonna be pissed. Like royally so. You have no idea the rage. I just got done being angry. Damn it. <laughs> During the little load screens, I'm sitting here watching fucking Jeffree Star makeup videos and shit. Some crewmen are causing a disturbance on the ship. You're adjusting before you pull. You're anticipating. You. Got okay, it. Captain, she's gone. I'm near about vibrating. I'm so excited. So she got here, and after a few minutes, she said, Hey, do you have some new parts? And I was like, Nah, I used a new soap. And then she just sort of touched my arm real gentle-like and called the cut of my outfit elegant. I couldn't hear the rest on account of my heart was beating so hard. Then I led her into the kitchen. I think she about cried when she saw the spread. Aww. Well, sure, you could see, but I thought maybe you'd want to know some of what was said. You ain't much of a romantic, huh, Captain? <sighs> we both see enough engines in our day-to-day. -day. There's nothing special about sitting next to another one, even if ours is real sweet. June hardly ever makes it down to Groundbreaker's mess during regular meal times, so... ...sharing the kitchen was... ...special. Like being part of a real family. She stood stock still and just said, Oh, real soft. Oh, and let me tell you, I was sweating. And then she blinked and said, Is that dustback casserole? I told her how we got Mr. Raymond to bake it for us, so it was double authentic. Made by a real live... Monar monarchian? Monarchist? Monarch person. Hmm. <laughs> sure was. Near best thing to homemade, June Lay said. When I brung out the sweetheart cakes, June, she got a little teary, said she had a thing she needed to say. But I stopped her because I wanted to say it first. I never felt so bold, Captain. One of us has got to be. We're both... June's so reserved and I'm so shy. I, I worried if I never said anything, nothing would ever get said, you know? I told her about how she made me feel. Bold like I acted, strong, smarter and kinder than I am on my lonesome. I listed all the things I liked about her. And then she pulled out a paper and read a speech. She, she talked about the things she admired about me, like my cleverness and my humor and how it made her want to be more open. She was worried she wouldn't get the words out right, especially after that message about Isabel sweet. Anyhow, when she wrapped up, I asked her to be my girlfriend. And Captain, she said yes! We talked about it some. I told her I wasn't sure how it would work, how I've had a bad time of it in the past. She said we'll take it as it comes. 
fix things together. Share meals, talk. Maybe she could rub my shoulders when they're sore. I said I might like that. Nope. You've been real patient, Captain. Thanks. So, if you don't mind, I'm just gonna head to my cabin and happy scream into my pillow for like an hour. Woo! Good for you, Parvati. Good for you. So now we're going back to... S Cilia? Cilia? This fucking place up here. This place up here that I can't pronounce to save my fucking life. First we'll go landing pad, go get some of that... their uh... Destination reached. Scylla. That their uh... what's it called? <laughs> Monkey pheromone glass. Thank you. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna switch Neoka with Fel or Sam with Felix. Cause Felix has that thing with Harlow. And we're gonna find that uh, vent with the quote unquote evidence. If you guys haven't noticed, I'm trying to, I guess, completionist this. So you get all of the game, not just the main storyline, because that always frustrates me when they do the main storyline and then none of the side quests. Because I want to know what the fuck happens if you get that stuff for that guy. You know, does it help? Does it not? You know. And with the way Obsidian is, sometimes if you do the side quests, it ends up helping you during the main quest, so... Alright, let's go find some monkey glands. First we gotta find a monkey. Let's go find a primate. Primate? Is it a primate? Primal. Whatever. Ah! Calm down, Felix. Where that came from? <sighs> See, I started to not like Felix, and now I kind of like him, and now I kind of, you know, it. It's off and on for me with him. Like I like him, but I don't like him, you know. Right. I told myself that I would start taking weapons again, that way I could break them down so I can fix my guns.
options. Repair. Yes. Options. Repair. God damn it. Ash Primal. Pungent. Primal. I want up. I want on top of this. Pacifically this. Up here. Up here. Nope. Nope. Okay. Fine. Fuck you. do I need? Is that it? Just the one? I need three. She said three? God. I can fast travel, can't I? Kind of. I might as well just run across the uh, wasteland area. well enough alone. Oh, that is violent with my controller. Violent on the controller. Shit. the other one. You know, if y'all know me, you've been watching for the last several weeks, you know my playstyle, you also know that I don't usually do the super aggressive thing. But... I want to get all of this done and I'll do it. Ouch! What's hitting me? Beaten up by primals, you no longer function well when they attack you. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay. We have the pheromone glands. We're going to the unreliable, and then we're going to Harlow's place. And after Felix confronts him with the evidence, two things are going to happen. Either we're going to walk... Either he's going to let us just walk away because he still feels some sort of weird kinship to Felix. Or he's going to have everybody on his base attack us. Either way, they're all dying. I made that decision. You remember that. A couple episodes back, I made that decision. Captain? If you're looking for crew members Ellie or Felix, they're sharing a drink upstairs. What? Did you notice how our crew's a lot like that crime family from the Masked Marketeer? Oh, which one's the captain? You know the head of the family? Never shows up on screen, but everybody's scared of him? That's the boss. And everyone's got different theories about what they're really up to? I can see that. And what about me? A scion of Byzantium turned to banditry? You've got to be the masked marketeer. <laughs> I want to know how is he doing that through the mask? Watch, 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 watch it! Boom! <laughs> there's, there's gonna be a, like, there's probably a hole. There a hole? Look at me. There is no hole. <laughs> Felix has some major sucking power, doesn't he? Ah, okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> Picking the same people. We're gonna find that vent. I don't like you at all, Volker. Is that outside? I think it's outside. It's not inside. Let's check. Trask's evidence. <laughs> okay, so no, it's not. Not there. Okay, it is literally right on the other side of that wall thing. And I don't know how. Oh. Right, there's a door over here. There we go. There it is. We need to have a word with Clyde. <coughs> Looks like Trask was telling the truth. It's all there. Receipts for services rendered, payments, records, ship manifests. Clyde was a pirate for hire. And the board was paying him off. In typical board fashion, they left a trail of receipts behind. Ain't that just ironic? <laughs> yep, 
Yeah, you and me both. Clyde owes me, owes us some answers. Something about this don't add up. And I mean to find out why. All right, Felix. Let's do this, homie. Locked and loaded. I want this so bad. I want one. Okay. What's the word? <laughs> Not surprised. Trask was a dead man trying to negotiate with his own executioner. He'd say anything to preserve his life. That's a damning accusation. Am I right to presume you have some evidence on hand? Those papers don't prove a thing. We've all done business with the board. They own the whole damn colony. Trask put you up to this. <laughs> that miserable wretch. He's trying to undermine everything I stand for. What do you stand for exactly? You've got a lot of nerve calling me a liar to my face. Turn around and I'll do it to the back of your head. How should I know? But what the hell do I care? Trask was a traitor. I didn't ask you to understand his motives. I asked you to cross him off. Clyde, look me in the eye and tell me it's not true. Tell me, and I'll believe you. Don't talk to me like I'm some common criminal, Felix. You're the one on trial, not me. I don't know what kind of poison that snake dripped in your ear, but as far as I'm concerned, you've been compromised. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> yeah, I'm Felix. That was fun. Yeah, it was. Who's next? Who's last? This is... This is definitely not how I imagined it'd end. The void's black, water's wet, and Clyde hated the board. That's something I just knew. Now? I don't know. I don't know what to think. Oh, he needs a hug. Hugs for Felix. Yeah, no kidding, boss. You made that clear as day. I've just got a lot on my mind right now. This is, uh... This is a lot to take in. I always looked up to Clyde. The thought that he could be an agent of the board is just abhorrent to me. Yeah, he did. And I'm not sure how I'm gonna get over that. No kidding. I'm glad you keep the kitchen stocked. 
You've given me a lot to think about. I'm gonna be mulling over this whole mess for a couple of days. Part of me wishes we'd put Trask in the ground. But you know, I think that's just my frustration talking. Thanks for your time, boss. Oh, it says speak to him on the ship. <laughs> Oops. Nyoka! I have to keep it stocked because of her. She drinks everything. Okay. Insufficient parts. You'll be all right, Felix. I promise. This too will pass. I feel so bad for him. He's like... He's like a little brother to me. Like, at times he's so fucking annoying. And then at other times I just adore him. Captain, if you're looking for crew members Ellie or Felix, they're sharing a drink upstairs. So then I says, fine, I'll pay you back for all of it. With interest. Nice one. You must have had them quaking on their heels. I mean, I wasn't really gonna do it. I just wanted to make them feel bad. Pay you back with interest. I gotta remember that one. Would have felt better if it had worked. Uh. <laughs> Sucks, girl. Oh shit, that's what else I was gonna- fuck. I'm the groundbreaker. <laughs> Alright, back to the groundbreaker. I forgot to give those to Nyoka. Damn it. Boy, I'm a smart cookie. That's what I could have done while uh, her we body was on her date. Shit. So, we have all these other plans to go to. I don't know if we're like even halfway done with the game. Apparently it's like 60 hours worth for the main quest. Not in- I don't know if it's including any side quests or anything. And so far we've done what? A good 20 hours? So I've got like 40 more hours to go. Shit.
Have you been following that series? The Hunt for the Wimbro? Pirate ship? I don't go in for docu-series. The bounty hunter who's been after them? Fuller? She had an ambush set up on Hephaestus. The pirates came in to dump a bunch of loot on some broker they work with. Whose loyalty did Fuller buy to spring the ambush? That queen ain't gonna go down easy. I can't wait. What's up? Outstanding. These ought to be enough. Let's get back to Monarch. There's an old base I used to call home. I can get us in the door, but we'll have to shoot our way through the Queen's brood to get to the center. We'll set the bait there. Password to the door is Charon. Hayes's idea. Clara, Hayes, Anders, Rebecca, Opal, Nioka. Charon. He said it was some old myth. Something about death and all the things we killed. Rest of us just thought it sounded cool, so here we are. Hello, sweetheart. I'm back. Is it done? Well, damn. Contractor grew a conscience. As your employer, I'm both angry and disappointed. I'll add that to your file. Technically, I owe you an exit interview. Care to justify your betrayal of our species, or are we finished here? Seeing as you're the first one to complain about my paranoia, have you ever considered that you might be the problem? Out of my office. We're done. This is why I always ask for half my payment up front. I like her, Captain. Let's go before we have to paint this office with her blood. Should we do it anyway? See what happens? Skip out on my fucking team. Everyone all right? They are now understanding. How lucky for me. Isn't that pretty? I'm taking those. And this. And that. A little bit of this. What is that? It's a mock app mock apple. Looks like a weird combination of peach, orange, and apple. Misunderstanding, but it's all good. And <laughs> they give no fuck. Okay, well, that the turned out better than network. I expected it to. I thought I would be fighting all of Groundbreaker. But, I'm not, so, I'm not going to go back to that save. So it's fine. That's what she gets. <laughs> I'm sorry. Every time I read that, <laughs> slap your whole family. I just start laughing. <laughs> I can't help it. I really can't. It's... Hilarious to me. Okay. 
Now we gotta go back to Monarch. Fucking swear, I thought I was done with Monarch. Turns out I'm not, but at least I get to kill the Manta Queen. <laughs> Captain, Felix and the Vicar are arguing again. Oh, god damn it. Wish they wouldn't. You ain't making a lick of sense, Vax. Of course I got a self. I'm me, Felix Millstone. No. That is just a story you've been building for yourself from a very young age. There. See? You just said yourself. Your self because i got a self after all check me preacher semantics and nothing more the construction of our language assumes the existence of a self whoa, whoa, whoa slow down what's this about construction work our language has all manner of paradoxes contained within it tell me what happens to your lap when you stand up what are you talking about max you've been acting real funny ever since you and that hermit sniffed all them drugs Maybe you ought to ask Kelly to take a look at your head. On standby for command. Okay. All right, to Monarch. Like what I did with the place? What'd you do? Good to see you, boss. Alright, let's go to Monarch, finish up Neoka's quest. I'm taking Neoka with me and Ellie. Why not? Today's already been a crap day, and I'm already tired. I want it all to end. Just be done with it. I'm going down there. That's that's a cheap way to do it. down there. So this would be the fastest way to it.
and Droidicus. Finally. Whew. Here we go set foot in here since well I'm ready yeah right yeah here we go deep breaths Nyoka <laughs> we got this girl girlfriend girlfriend I'm such a mom. Okay. I'll keep it down. Chuh, Ellie. Okay. Yeah, no spacers, nothing. Fuck spacers, shit. money. Ooh! Those are pretty! I want just like a field of these. Yeah. Mm. Maybe so See if I can sneak around them without getting spotted. That would be a no-go. That's a no. That's a big fat fucking no. Okay. I have one over here. I have a couple over there. I'm looking at the explosive barrel things, these things. Seeing how many I have. Here we go. Here go. I'm not setting it up yet because I still need to find 
get the other thing. God damn it. What's up? All right, now I will put everything back. Well, this is the spot. You know, I thought I'd be angry. I thought I'd storm in here in a rage and exterminate all these bugs and everything would be all right in the end. But I ain't. Mostly just empty. A little sad, maybe. The first night Hayes and yeah. I spent in here, we knew it was home. It's safe. It's got a nice chill to it. But mostly, it doesn't stink of sulfur. Monarch folks often joke about it. Not because of the smell or the grittiness it leaves in your throat. Not because of the headaches or the coughing. It's because there's no escaping it. It's life here, and there ain't anything you can do about it. But here, somehow the sulfur never made it. The nights we spent in here felt like vacations. So we started building. We hauled in steel, hired sublight folk to help. That's how we met Anders and Opal. They stuck around after our contract was up. Opal liked camping. Anders liked chasing her tail. Four of us for a while, scraping together what bits we could to build our home. Then came Rebecca, a sawbones out of the Cascadia survivors, who took a kindness to Hayes. And Clara, her little sister. I'll admit I wasn't keen on taking her on at first, but for a teenager, she was surprisingly capable. More like attached at the hip to her older sister. Got a kind of strength between them, I suppose. She had a head for numbers. Helped us trade hides for food and materials. Negotiated contracts. Turned out to be mighty useful. Clara, Hayes, Anders, Rebecca, Opal, and me. Six folks, one name. One family. Charon. Despite Monarch trying to kill us day in and day out, we managed to belong. They got the drop on us. Did they? I don't think they did. That's how we do it. Manta bitch. There she is. Taking all of your shit. You cunt.
Oh, I need this one. When you use an inhaler, any down companions are revived with a small amount of health. Needed it. I wish these were more auspicious circumstances, but at least we're all here. This bringing them together, burying them. This is the kind of thing Hayes would have done. That makes it stupid. By all accounts, we should have left well enough alone, but that also makes it right. Captain, thank you. Damn, ain't much for niceties, huh? You mind if we rest a spell before we head out? I'd, I'd like to bury Opal and Clara proper before I lay everyone's medallions to rest. What? Why? Those painful memories, Captain. Huh. That's... That ain't a bad point. Alright, Captain. Thanks. <laughs> 